I'm Caitlin Halfby, director of the IBM AI Accelerator and host of our summit series. These sessions feature prominent industry leaders that tackle big strategic ideas and that recommend actionable strategies and frameworks that we hope you will find immediately valuable in your own work. Just because you closed your front door doesn't mean you closed your business. The biggest challenge in, in my world was the, the velocity of change of data. Mother's Day you know, was the day where we saw the highest traffic. At the turn of a dime, Mother's Day became every day in terms of the network usage. The challenge that we had that the past no longer could be used to predict the future. I think digital risk, cyber risk, and, and AI risk is probably the single biggest man-made risk. Uh, of this century. At IBM, we are working with your uh, open scale teams and we're working with your trauma free teams. As we merge into this world, the last couple of years of increasing data privacy regulations, it's it's not hard to imagine at all that the next stage of that is, is AI regulation. So you have laws, you have regulations, you have risks. What's on top of that? To me, that's ethics. This report is also very important because really, we heard so far so many different uh, points of view around the yeah, ethics. And I think the organizations are so hopeful for what we can happen when we get it right. But when, if we get it wrong, it's not going to be the big advancement that will be wrong. It'll be the personal impact, which Tim talked about, that will be the harder thing to unravel. Uh, maybe best to speak about my team and uh, my mission statement. It's drive innovation through technology, empower our staff, delight our fans, and safeguard the brand. When I think of a hybrid cloud, it's really focused on two key attributes, operational efficiency, developer velocity, because at the end, we're trying to drive business change. And to solve that problem, you have to get embedded into the workflow of very large organizations. When decisions, micro decisions are made, We have over a billion social media followers. So if you look at our business and you start seeing all these different touch points, but really what you have is this fan in the middle. That's what we do at USA for our member. Our member is at the center of everything that we do and our members security and privacy is a big piece of that. Our insurance company decided that the right thing to do was to give back more than $1 billion in dividends to our member. So everything we do revolves around trust. You're never going to be able to have, uh, in, in IBM anyway, 400,000 privacy experts in every regulation across the globe. The biggest overall use case is the data and AI enablement platform for an enterprise. And that needs to be on a hybrid multi-cloud thing. Otherwise, you won't be able to scale it. Cloud and hybrid cloud is going to be the key enabler to drive the fast generation experimentation, data mindset, agile delivery. In the Department of Defense, we have a DOD data strategy and the cloud is the key enabler to make that um, actually operational and real. Cost of ownership of this platform is significant. For us, it is the cost to produce oil should be as low as possible. You know, our goal here with the CDO community and the CTO community is to educate, to be on the leading edge. And then as we at IBM are going down that path, we are very transparent about what we're doing from an experiential, you know, from a practitioner standpoint, so that others can, you know, learn from what we've done, address those pain points in a much easier way than, than we've had. Don't be scared, we write in, in Python, we use Jupyter Notebooks. So they're all things that I think people are sort of used to and accustomed to and tools that they're used to working with. Right now, like quantum codes are very short. You know, we only have a, like a handful of algorithms that we're, that we're using today. And so I think if it's something that you're interested in, the barrier to entry, at least, you know, what we've done at IBM is quite low. And now without further ado, it gives me great pleasure to announce the CDO Club 2020 U.S. Chief Data Officer of the Year Award winner, Ona Siddiqui. Welcome to the club. Well, this is great. I uh, feel like I'm, uh, you know, joined by a community of nerds, so it's, it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> We're living through a time period right now 
unlike anything that you know we've ever lived through before where the importance of data and connected data i think has never been more pronounced than it is um, right now so in my mind this is really the ultimate use case for what uh, we were trying to build uh, during my three years at, at HHS. Connecting data can actually help save lives. So thank you for the recognition. Thank you for elevating the role of um, Chief Data Officers. I appreciate you um, sending this here. <laughs> Congratulations, Mona.